Hi guys, welcome to another video on my channel. I just wanted to show you some artwork I've been doing this morning. Now I've been doing the uh, tissue paper um, and I've been using my beautiful blue metallic paints. I actually used some of the cardboard off my gob goblet because I thought actually it is lovely, um, actually lovely cardboard in itself. The pattern on it is lovely. Um, so I use my metallic peacock green and use metallic blue. Um, and basically I've just, uh, any little bits, I've just been dabbing in, basically. Now I put a heat gun to it, um, so, it, so it's just drying off now. This is another page that I did. Now this is using metallic blue and a baby pink. And again, as you can see, I've taken advantage of that lovely, you know, the picture of the goblet on the cardboard. Because, you know, we don't, if the picture is nice on the cardboard, I mean, I always think, why cover it up if it generally is a nice picture on it? And sort of the blues and the blacks, I thought, go nice together. So, um, so that's another page. Again, if you, actually, another thing, if you just dab the paint on, and then you put a heat gun over it. The heat gun will actually sort of dry the paint in that sort of, um, in that um, looking sort of that splodgy dabby effect. So it's quite a good effect, actually. That's a bit of a hint. So if you want to use two paints and get the dab effect, and just get some kitchen roll, dab it on, and put. you've got to put quite a lot of paint on and dab it lightly and then... Instead of really worrying about getting it in the page, just get the heat gun and then go over it. And then you get the lovely sort of dabby doo -da, um, pay, uh paint effect, basically. Um, now I want to show you another one. Uh, okay, I've got to be a bit careful here, guys, because obviously this is drying still. Um, now that's another page I just done. That was using... Uh, green pastel um, with some bronze. I got a be as you see, it's a beautiful bronze color. It's one of my favorite paints. Um, and then just dabbing the bronze on again. That was a tissue like defect. I didn't really can see, but I used tissue paper on that as well. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to show you that, guys. Um, as I said, just give you, as I said, I just want to sort of give you a bit of a update what I've been up to. Now, I took a trip to the works today, um, the Brilliant Works. I bought a few things. I got these lovely brush paints. Now, I love using brush paints because you can get such a gorgeous effect. Um, I got this beautiful paper. It's um, by Sarah Davies, the Crafting Queen. Dancing Drug Dragonfly, and as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous paper. I couldn't resist that. That was just, yeah, too too much of a good opportunity, and the paper's really good quality. I mean, I must admit, you can tell the difference when you do pay a bit more for paper, because, you know, it certainly is thicker, and the patterns, I, as I said, are just gorgeous. Um, So that was £5 as well, so that was, um, I was 90p off. Originally five ninety nine down to five pounds, and then I picked these up, which I thought were a lovely idea. They were um, butterfly decorations, gorgeous paper butterflies there. So I thought that would go lovely in a journal. And only one pound fifty, and then these are the different effects you can do with them, and you know you get a lot in there, and even gives you step by step how to do three D butterflies basically. So I thought that was a really cool idea. Um, so yeah, so as so a bit of a crafting lot there. That this that's the lovely brown bronze paint, and it is such a gorgeous color. And uh, where well, I did my pastel green and the lovely bronze, it's a really deep brown, deep bronze. And yeah, and I I love that. Um, but I bought that a while. So um, and there's my brush, my lovely long long brush. Really good brush this, as I said, nice and long, and it's been really handy for the pages. Um, so yeah, so I want to say thank you for watching, guys. I, oh, I've still got some stuff to use up there. So I've still got some tissue paper. I've got some more cardboard from the goblet. 
and yeah so i just want to say um thank you for watching guys um hope you enjoyed the video in the net now the next video i am um, hand sewn and embroidered a blanket for my niece uh evie bless her um, I can't show you the video yet because obviously she hasn't received it because we're seeing them in August. So I don't want to. I don't want them to see it on the internet, YouTube, or Facebook and spoil the surprise. But that video is coming, guys. Uh, when my husband kindly modelled it as well, so we had a bit of a laugh with it. So that video is to come. It's my first blanket that I have hand stitched and embroidered. And yeah, so and but there'll be more to come because I am. I am definitely leaning more towards the fabrics now. I still love my paper, don't get me wrong, especially when I see paper like that, the dancing dragonfly. But I but I am leaning a little bit more towards the fabric and kind of just doing this now and again. Um so yeah, so I want to say yeah, as I said, thank you for watching guys and I always thank you for your support that you give me and remember to like uh, give the thumbs up. Um and subscribe because I'm 49 so I'm just one off from 50 and it would just be amazing guys if I could get up to 50 because that's halfway of 100 so pretty please so um yeah so thank you a lot guys um I say have a happy crafting week and I should see you in the next video which like I said will be showcasing my sewing embroidery embroidery blanket um, there may be something else in between that, but that would definitely be um, coming soon, guys. Okay, cheers. Bye.